Hi, this is Andrea Sachuk. Welcome to the second online training on Adobe Analytics Workspace. The scenario for today is to get a high-level overview of the traffic volume on the site. I have created a new project in Adobe Analytics Workspace. Now I want to name it. It will be Site Traffic Analysis and I will update the reporting period to last 12 months. I can use the pre-configured date ranges, last 12 full months, and click Apply. Now I will add unique visitors metric to the table, and this will give me a breakdown by day. I will need to replace the dimension, currently it's set to day, but I will need to replace it with months. I will go to search components and type in month. And I will drag and drop the month dimension to my table. This will give me a breakdown of unique visitors by month for the last 12 months. Now I want to show that as a trend line. And I will go to left menu and pick the line visualization and place it in my panel. This will give me a nice trend line. I can also update it by scaling the y-axis. So this will be anchor uh, the y-axis to start from zero. And I will resize it a little and also resize my table. Now to have it clearer, I will name them. So this will be traffic month over month and I will also rename my trend line. I also want to make my trend line be clearer and I will get rid of unique visitors legend. I will click on the gear icon and uncheck legend visible. I also will uncheck show anomalies and this will make the trend line much clearer. Now I want to add some more details into the name of the visualization to indicate that this is unique visitors. The next step in my analysis is to compare last two full months, to compare uh, the traffic. And in order to do that, I will need to create a new table. But instead of creating a new table, I will copy my table. I will right-click on it and select Duplicate Visualization. And this will make a copy. Now I want to rename it and I will call it traffic month over month, uh, last two months, last two full months. And there are a few ways how you can do that. The first uh, option is to go to components, look for the month dimension, and you can click on the arrow on the right that will show you all the months the data is collected for and you can pick the months that you want for example February and January 2018 and you can drag and drop these months to your table and this is one of the options however the disadvantage of this option is that these uh, items are static in a month in two months they will be um, again January and February but I want to make my um, analysis the way that it will be updated every month so if I will open this project in April I want here to compare March versus February how you can do that you can go back to month and you can drag and drop again the month dimension to your table. But this will again show you all the months for the reporting period, which is 12 full months. 
And now we can update this table by segmenting the data that will be shown. And I will go to my components uh, panel and will pick last two full months and will drop it under my metric. And this will work as a segment. So every time then report will be updated every month. So in April it will show me March and February. In May it will show me April and March. This is much more flexible and I like it. So now I want to visualize this and I will go back to my visualizations and pick up the horizontal bar visualization and drop it into the panel. This is how it looks and we'll also resize it. This shows me last two months. And this works, uh, however, if you resize it again, you can see that it will be hardly possible to recognize which bar uh, indicates which month. And because of that, I propose you another third option, how you can do that. Now we'll update the table underneath. And I will again go to my uh, components panel and again we'll look for month. And in this case I will place some other segments to my table. I will take last month and will add it under the metric. And you can see when you drag and drop, when you drag your uh, element, you see that it um, indicates where this element will be added. This is uh, how the element will be added on the left. This is how the element will be added on the right. But I also can replace uh, one of the elements in my table. And this is what I'm going to do. Now I have unique visitors for last month, which is February. And I will need to also add uh, a month ago. And I also have this in the left menu. Two months ago, this is what I want to drag and drop to my table. And I will add it on the left side from the last month. Now I have a table and it shows me uh, traffic volume two months ago and last month. However, I will need to update uh, the dimension and as for the dimension, I will look for all visits. This is a standard or out-of-the-box segment that includes all visits or so all traffic. And I will replace the month dimension with it. Now I have a table and for each month um, I have a number and you see another change in the graph that now uh, every month is colored and uh, it's uh, much more convenient to compare the values. Even if you resize your visualization, you still can see the legend and this gives you an idea what is shown as a green bar and what is shown as a blue bar. This is very convenient. Now I also want to visualize by how much the traffic increased or decreased when I compare two last full months. And now I'm going to use another visualization. I go to visualizations panel and will pick the summary change visualization and will add it uh, to the right. And this is showing currently zero. But this is showing zero because you see what months are being compared. This is not what I wanted. And this is because you see that this dot indicates which data source is used by this visualization. And currently the visualization is linked to traffic month over month table. And if we click on this dot, 
we will see this in this drop down menu. We will need to replace the traffic source for the second table. All right. Now we see that the traffic changed by 3%. So last month it was by 3.1% less than two months ago. And this gives me an idea by how much the traffic increased or decreased. Now to make this project clearer for myself and for my colleagues that probably I want to share it with, I will again rename the visualizations. This will be last two months um, traffic comparison. And uh, traffic change. You can also add last two months. Um, and the good thing is that in the legend you can always see what is compared to each other. So we have two months ago and last month. This is how it works and again I want to rename my panel. This will be site traffic overview and I will get rid of the data sources which are the tables. I will click on the dot icon and uncheck show data sources and we'll do the same for the first visualization. And now it makes much more uh, convenient to read this project. I will, will also uh, resize the visualizations this way and now I think I'm good to go and to save this project and use it every month and I also can export this project uh, into PDF format where I can schedule this to be sent to my colleagues. Now the homework. I want you to do the same, so prepare the same visualizations to compare traffic volume month over month. Then prepare the same for week over week and for daily traffic change. So you have to have nine visualizations. Three visualizations like what you see on the screen, three more for weeks and three more for days. And this will be a very good practice for you to get skilled in working with Adobe Analytics workspace. This is your homework. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, leave them in the comments underneath of this video. And in the next video training, we'll continue working with the workspace capability inside Adobe Analytics. Thank you for watching.